Choreographer Gregory Magoma is planning to take his last bow. He's bringing his work Exit and Exist back to the Market Theatre in Johannesburg as he prepares to retire. The production explores the legacy of his ancestor, Chief Jango. Magoma, a renowned Kosa leader in the 19th century, and Magoma was arrested when he ordered the English colonizers to leave. We have internationally celebrated and revered director, choreographer, and dancer Gregory Magoma in studio. It's such a privilege. I was saying to my colleagues, you are a big deal, honey, internationally <laughs> and locally. And we hope that the industry has made you feel that, that you are a bankable asset and you know, one of those that we, we, we look up to with pride. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy, for those I mean, amazing opening remarks. And good morning to, to the viewers as well. Okay, so 50 strong. And you don't look a day past 28. Mm. What's the secret? Well, the secret is being consistent. You know, I mm. wake up every day and I still keep to my ritual of prayer, of um, going to gym, going to class and doing what I need to be doing what yeah. my body needs in order for me to be able to do the rest. Yeah, but how you discovered your purpose and destiny was essentially to escape the political landscape and turmoil that the country was going through. Take us back to that time. Sure, I mean, I, I grew up close to a hostel which housed migrant workers and over the weekends I will go and and watch and observe their dances and their traditional forms. And it dawned on me years later that it was their form of escaping their own trauma of living in those very harsh conditions during apartheid years. Mm -hmm. um, and at home, I was introduced to the pop culture, the Michael Jackson, the Tina Turners of the time. And it was that then I realized that there is power in, in movement, there is power in song, and I wanted to be part of the changing political landscape and what a better way to do it than to create dances and um, allow dance to be the, the channel, the vehicle for, to channel my own trauma. Yeah, but you, you already almost instinctively knew that your talent can only get you this far. You need to treat it as a business and make sure that you have the necessary networks and ecosystem to sustain you. Absolutely, and I think, you know, we have to um, bear in mind all the time that, you know, our art form requires um, a little more than just a, a, a handout. We have to be business minded. We have to acquire a business acumen in terms of navigating, um, you know, our way in ensuring that we have our, our creative art is sustainable, but our lives are sustainable so that we can be able to to, to contribute to our, our creative economy and contribute to the country's GDP. All right, let's talk about the season of exit and exist, or is that correct? Exit exists. Yes. So in, in other words, you either, they often say that a leader is there to inspire, and by the time you leave, before you expire, you need mm. to inspire. So mm. are you at that point where you exist and now you want to exit? What does this mean? Well, I think, you know, it's about legacy. I think I want to leave my legacy, and I think I am leaving my legacy. But I also want to see that legacy being lived, you mm. know, by others. And I think it's already happening. If you look at the story of Musa Mota, for instance, who has been sensational, um, you know, even though he didn't win the, the Britain's Got Talent, but he has touched so many hearts, and he has changed in terms of how we look at the arts, particularly in this country where there is somehow a sense of hope that is instilled in people's minds because here's a young man who's an amputee who goes onto the biggest stage in the world and he's able to, to do what he's did, yeah. what, he has, what he was able to do. And that for me is inspiration. Yes. Um, it's about legacy and I, and I think you know, I want to see that legacy being lived. And, and we, we sometimes get uh, anecdotally where artists will say anywhere around the world, you know, the red carpet is laid out for them. They're received by kings and queens. And yet we tend to be mute in mm. appreciating our, our own local artists. How, how would you respond to that? Well, I think, you know, it's, it's a, we are living in a country that is full of possibilities and contradictions. And it is the contradictions that really uh, pushes 
boundaries that allow us as artists to continue to question, to continue to wake up every morning, to want to do something that is significant, that is going to change a life of someone. Hence, Vianney Dance Theatre was created to do exactly that, to change, mm -hmm. um, 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 to change the world one step at a time, but to give the child in the community, in the rural areas, um, a possibility to see themselves through, through us and for them to know that they have a home where their dreams can be realized, that their dreams can be validated. So yeah, I mean, we've got to do more. I think as government, as private sector, we've got to give more into the arts and I think what we have shown um, through, you know, the world by flying the South African flag so high in those places where we're able to retain gold by claiming it in those spaces where politicians have really failed is, is remarkable. And I think it does send a very clear indication that the arts are here and they are alive. Mm. But, but as you're saying that in terms of politicians or relying uh, on uh, more support from their you know there has to be a balance there's also a responsibility on the sector to organize uh, and to speak as one voice for them to mm. to effect any changes in that space so now you're an award-winning storyteller you're also a highly um, recognized choreographer dancer uh, that, that utilizes all different influences and genres of music pop culture mm. um, and also poetry you've, you've done some work with as is it all oh, oh, James Noble James Noble yes, James Da etc uh -huh. yeah so talk yeah. us through some of the projects that you had to conceptualize yourself that you at times may have thought it would not fly sure I mean I think firstly collaboration is key to everything that I do I even though this work is you know um, it's presented as a solo work it's, it's actually not. It's a it's a it's a it's a collaboration. I collaborated with James Noble, who's a director in the work, but also Simpua Dana, who um, has was so generous with her work that she said it can be utilized in this work um, through an a cappella voices. And I've got a guitarist from from the UK, Giuliano Mondarelli, who's coming all the way to be part of this production. So collaboration is as a helm of of the work that I create. I've collaborated across board with uh, visual artists, with musicians, with filmmakers, and that I think is key to how we navigate the arts in uh, today. I think it's creative. It's, it's the way we should be making work. I hate to let you go, but just before you do that, you're at the National Arts Festival from the 27th to the 28th, but at the Market Theatre from the 22nd of June. Mm. So what can uh, revelers anticipate? Well, I think, you know, if anything else, is that we, we, the story of Exit Exists is the story of Chief Makoma. And it's, it's about how we navigate this, this big idea of land of which we continue to sweep under the carpet. And it's a story that reminds us that there have been people before us who have walked this path and we've got to honor them in ways that are going to allow us to be uh, the, the pole barriers of the future of this country. Yes, and a quick message to South Africans as we're looking at whether people feel safe in their homes uh, and just the, the confidence in our uh, law enforcement agencies. What would you say? You know, we are alive with possibilities yet. Yeah, I think those possibilities are there and the people are leaving them in many, many ways. And we've got to just give um, support. That's all it's needed. And there's, you know, the artists have been have been uh, working towards this. Artists have been uh, coming together. I think lockdown has allowed us to navigate our own disparities in order to ensure that we speak in that one voice and to allow government to see that artists are desperate but also are united. We really appreciate you coming into studio, braving the weather and traffic congestion. Really much, much appreciated. That's Gregory Makoma, creative director uh, in studio, talking about his work that will be at the Market Theatre for you in Johannesburg. That's uh, between the 22nd and 25th of June and at the National Arts Festival from the 27th and the 28th of this month.